big, complicated place. Like, it's dense and it's, it's hard and it's complicated. I, I think that I have, like, an existential crisis maybe every, I don't know, eight and a half minutes. <laughs> I think, and, like, anything can trigger it too, like, anything. Like, you know, you'll just see something like, you'll see, like, a uh, bug, like a cockroach or just something, and you'll stare at that cockroach for just a moment too long until you realise in a weird way you are that cockroach. <laughs> and that cockroach is you. You just different reappropriations of the same atoms that are over eight billion years old. And like another cockroach comes along and they have a little cockroach conversation which you will never understand because you're trapped in the walking meat prison that is your own living corpse. And then like another cockroach comes along and that's the cockroach is you again and it's just made of vacuous atoms, made of everything and nothing. You're just nothing moving really fast. And another cockroach and you're just going to die one day and when you sleep there are little parasites that live in your eyelashes that shit in your eyes while you sleep and have sex on your eyelashes while you sleep. <laughs> and if you lay awake thinking about that, you're just cock blocking and you're not <laughs> Cockroach and another cockroach, another cockroach, another cockroach, another cockroach, another cockroach, till you're screaming and you're crying and you have to be taken out of KFC. You get that? <laughs> At all? I get that. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Why tell us? Like, it all gets complicated when you take it down to the atomic level, like we're just, just nothing, just nothing vibrating, vacuous galaxies of nothing and everything. Like it's terrifying when you think, and why would they tell us? Why, why give us that information? Like I think that science has gone too far, like way too far. Like, you know, right now, in Switzerland, the Hadron Collider is firing up. Probably right now, because it's night here. It means it's day over there. It's, if you don't know what the Hadron Collider is, it's like a big physics centre, and Switzerland is a country. And um, <laughs> they're doing all sorts of crazy experiments there. Like, they've already they've smashed the atom. I don't know which one they picked. They're just like, that one, fuck it, we don't need it. Smash it up. Smash it up. Fuck, do heaps, no one will know that. Smash them up. <laughs> oh, so we didn't see any atoms around here. Mm. Did you see any atoms? You can't see atoms. <laughs> nothing. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> nothing. They, they smash the atom. Uh, they're trying to make little black holes. Just little ones, not like the big ones that fuck everything up. Just little ones, you know. And the problem is that their education system is way better than ours. So we can't say that they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Because we don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I have no idea. You, you got it? You got it, Switzerland? You, you, you got it? Yeah, we're just making some little black holes. Uh, we, we've been experimenting with cheese for a while now. We thought um, we'd get like a Yarlsberg universe going. Uh, <laughs> Some people put their hands up here to tell me that Jalsberg, Jalsberg is a uh, is a Norwegian cheese, not a Swiss. Okay, if you would like to point that out, we can get married. Okay, <laughs> it hasn't happened yet, but one day it will. Just a perfect person in the front put the hand up. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, as a Norwegian cheese, not a Swiss. I mean, it's a Swiss cheese, but it's a Norwegian Swiss cheese. And I go, I know. I did it to find you. <laughs> One day. <laughs> the, the Swiss, the other experiment they're trying to do is they're trying to stop time. Just stop it. Just see if they can. Just stop time. Why? Why, Switzerland? The only thing you export is watches. What are you doing? You're undercutting your economy, Switzerland. <laughs> Even I know that. 